Any more split screens with Marky? Hopefully. But I, the things that I don't agree with, I think best of three double a limb is fine. Uh, but I don't agree with how they seeded it. And the other thing that I'm really upset about is that there was no link to the stream inside Rocket League client. Like, why is there a link to somebody's YouTube video in the Rocket League client? And no, uh, no, uh, no link to the stream. Back to the dream team question though. Somebody asking me what would my 3v3 dream team be? Um, if I ignore regions, like ping dis differentials, and if I ignore personalities, if I'm going purely based on like the player and what they would bring to the team, um, hmm. I would say Marky Duda from Flipside, I would want him in my team. Probably... How it works Greasy from Weedem Girls and Sicky so from Mucky You. Can't keep track of every single team that would be a great team. team. It was huge because uh, they didn't uh, just beat Kapow like 2 1. It was 2 0. Oh. Like it was. Wow. Like, it, like that's really, really good. But Super Sonic Avengers um, is that team that everyone um, expects Read your to think. make the land or at least have a fight for it here. Season ends in 23 hours. hours. Okay. Like, like, I don't know why you're telling me this. Uh, like, I don't need to know. So, this is a big game for them. They need to finally make it, though. They have to show it. Very true. And, and, and if I recall correctly, one of the big question marks in qualification one was Doomsy not selfless is very mechanically sound players. I'd say that um, was James who was at the desk and was so A money is pretty average mechanically. Oh, it was you? Okay. Sicky really? Yeah, Sicky's the best player in market in my opinion. He's very underrated. He's just he never makes mistakes. He's just so solid. And if you put him in a team with like the likes of Marky and Greasy, that would be oh that would be such a good team. Yikes. I don't know if it would be better than Flipside. Uh, so, yeah, um, of course, uh, so this is a big game. Supersonic Avengers, of course, getting its group... But you could also make a team like Cuxer, ELMP, and... Would be massive. So either way, if we are gonna get I don't know, something Remco awesome, until recently. Like, uh, basically, um, so I guess with that being you said, need, you as long as you have a defensive player, like, Avengers or somebody who's gonna hold glue a team together, like Siki or ELMP, or... Um, or Mike Rules, to somebody who's really, really solid and doesn't demand a lot of boost, doesn't demand a lot of uh, attention. Like, I feel like players like Siki, Mike Rules, uh, ELMP, they really glue their teams together. Gambit as well. They're like, they're the glue for their teams. They have a chance to qualify. Neo showed us last yesterday that anything can happen. They came so close. Team Enjoy might be that team for us today. I could, I'd be excited. The difference Zane Jackie made to Mocket NA is rather insane. It is. They played very well. That performance and that qualifier was the best I've ever seen an NA team play. Ever since Gibbs scored five goals against Crown and Jewels in the Rocket League Central playoffs. I think I just sneezed. I don't know. His mom was making his gamer tag for him. like, what do you want to be calling? Hey, thanks for the host, Yemen. I appreciate it, dude. A bit like of good stream. Spelled it. I was like, yeah. that sounds about right. Uh, I cannot wait for uh, our casters to pronounce this one. It's going to be a tongue twister, which is great. Uh, so, guys, let us know who in, in the Turbo Pulsar can also do that very well if he needs to. Yeah, Turbo is uh, a good defensive player. I don't think he's on the same level as Siki yet, though. He's got a lot to learn. But I feel like Turbo provides more in attack than Siki does. Let's go ahead and toss it over to our It's funny when you think that, uh, like, in my opinion, Pashi is probably the weakest player on Maki Yu. He's very used to being the star player, but I think right now he's outclassed by his teammates. I mean, we got uh, a great match to start us off this morning. I'm ready to go. I'm getting pumped up. This the European games always get me excited, super excited. Yeah. Leaving to nothing different from last qualifier, where we got two teams that are. What have you got right here? I wasn't actually paying attention. What game is this? What game is this? They had last time to where they were playing really well through quals with a sub, Kasabi, Kasabi, but they didn't. Play Doomsday simply because of the fact of how well they were playing. It's like, why ruin their mojo when we can just. Oh, they're playing, they're showing the you know, SA game, are they? Like if you're playing so well, Super Sonic Avengers against Team. Team Enjoy. So I'm giving a bit of a spoiler here, but I mean, I don't make these reviews to, like, like there's always going to be spoilers. So Super Sonic Avengers against Team Enjoy. Scores right there. Sorry if you. If I just spoiled it. But I'm not really sorry. But Team Enjoy upsetting Kapow 2-0 the round before. This was really expected to be Super Sonic Avengers against Kapow in this round. 
Uh, team Enjoy, like, probably the biggest surprise team. Like, there was no team less ex Like, they were such a surprise to make the the actual winners' finals. Nobody thought they were going to make winners' round three. I don't even, like, I didn't even know they were a team. Do I think a team of three godlike 1v1ers can make an effective threes team? What, you mean, like, flip side? Of course they could. I'm happy with whatever happens. Doomsy obviously being the favorite, but these games are going to speak for themselves, so let's get right into it. Right down onto the field we have I mean set, I was a bit disappointed Joy that we didn't get to see Kapow uh, lose on stream Doomsy, this time playing on the team we have so they would have probably lost if they get game three to SA right there, on the kickoff already I'll see if I can put this back up to source there was getting some frame drops in source earlier but hopefully it stays fine Grandmaster right off the bat here 10 seconds in trying to get early goal way up in the air Almost in the net already. Great play. So Coming a bit of lack of Joy. trust from SA. They're sending two people at, at the same save, the but Very early on, already nobody was in the midfield yeah, for Enjoy. So enjoy. the ball, even though it did spill really kind of into a dangerous position, <laughs> Doomsy bumping Snasky. Definitely a bit save. of no uh, rotational mistakes in defense at the start of this game. Flipside only has one god 1v1er. You are completely wrong, my friend. But all three of the flipside lineup are top 10 1v1 players. Kuxer is probably a top 5 1v1 player right now. I would only rank, like, Marky. I don't know if I could think of anybody else who would beat Kux right now, to be honest. Kux is really good in ones. Really, really good. Very good touches coming from both teams to make sure they're not going anywhere too dangerous in front of the net, but a lot of pressure coming from Supersonic, keeping them on their toes. You can Mar Mike's been getting a little bit worse at 1v1s recently, um, but he's still like a very, very good 1v1 player. Mike's a beast. Look how OP Doomsy is carrying Snesky and ELMP. Well, I did see Doomsy bumping Snesky in defense at the start of this game. Just getting a little bit panicky and driving the circle. I am getting some frame drops again. So I'm going to put it back on high. Uh, the VOD seems to be dropping frames in Source. I remember way back I was playing um, the original, the OG Supersonic Avengers in Ranked. It was ELMP, Greasy, and Maestro. And I ran into ELMP with this green car, and I was like, this is so cool, I love the green car. And I like played with a green Octane for so long after that. I was playing like a blue Dominus at the time, and I was like, man. His green octane is so good, and he inspired me to switch to a green octane. But then A Money started using a green octane, so I stopped using a green octane. True story. <laughs> so far, it's a bit of a touchy feely start to the game. No real great chances. A couple of good passes and attack by Supersonic Avengers, but pretty easy to deal with by Team Enjoy, the lesser known team. Big upset to make it this far, like I said before. In favor of Team Enjoy <laughs> as they try to move it back down the field. Get stuffed out of midfield. That shot's on. <laughs> oh, we get to see some cracking US West spectating an EU game here, lag right here. It's like, oh, what a save. Never mind, it's in. <laughs> what a save. Oh, no, it wasn't saved. <laughs> what a great shot. Just barely getting that over the top. Very close. Hey, money's just low key salty. I don't know. I just. I saw him using a, a, a green octane and I was like, oh man, I like my green octane. Then I went back to Rocket League and changed it. <laughs> oh my goodness, he'll be the pass to Doomsy off the post. Oh, Freaky with the touch. Good stuff. A bit weird that Freaky just gave up all pressure there, but his teammate was there. To be fair, hello, hello. Enjoy. I keep calling them hello, team hello. They should be called Team Hello, to be honest. That's better than Team Enjoy. Why are there two people sitting in the net? What is this? Get your act together, SA. And again, Snasky just creeping forward to the net, just taking ELMP's position. This is poor play, defensively. Snasky right there should have just sat way back at the back post. Doesn't seem to matter, though, because Team Enjoy are just getting a bit outclassed mechanically and speed-wise. And again, like... <laughs> <laughs> the mistake that we just saw Snasky making at one end, we see the entire team making it. We have three people sitting in the net, nobody challenging the ball, nobody nobody covering the the back post. Just three players sitting in the net doing nothing. Uh, 
This could be a scoring opportunity for Doomsie, though. Nice finish by Doomsie. You know it's getting a little bit one-sided, a little bit ugly now. So kind of what we expected. This is just and not a very good clear. Uh, just, man, that's a, that's a rough hit. Especially when it kind of bounces out into the middle there. And Doomsie, you know it's going to follow up. The chat going absolutely and ballistic over here. I'll just put it over there for you guys. Doomsie is king, apparently. Game. LMP getting that cheat up on the kickoff. Good job for him, but Freaky steals it right back. To the other end. Shot oh, a oh, shot. Nice, powerful rocket from him. Yeah, taking the patience on this what one. What a bullet. All the way down, follows it Somebody should be attacking this ball, though, I think. Really yeah. Just in case they do get a big clear. I didn't see who it was. It was ELMP or Doomsy. We just kind of rotated back to the net, but really what they should have been doing there is looking at the ball, looking, figuring out where it's going to rebound, and then just uh, beat the attacker to the rebound. Put it up into, the, into your own defensive corner. Again, though, Team Enjoy just not capable of defending. The, that corner boost grab, huge mistake. He should have prioritized the ball right there, not the boost, because by going for the uh, boost, the ball suddenly above his head. He can't see the encroaching attacker. Uh, he did not need that boost, the goalkeeper. He should have just gone for the ball. You're absolutely right. The last two have been bad touches from Enjoy. They need to fix that coming into game number two. Or even now at this point, if they want to try still to pull time. back. Right? Still time. <laughs> a minute left. We're down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, a Leaf with the gravelly voice. Team enjoy trying to get a play into the net. I feel like one, now, one, one of the, the mistakes the Supersonic Avengers make quite regularly is... Uh, and I maybe wouldn't have said this on the cast, but now that Crown and Jewels are out of contention for the group, so I'll just go ahead and say it. I'll give away all my secrets. Uh, Supersonic Avengers, they creep out of the net a bit too early. They leave their net wide open too much. Like, the last man back will be so keen to get into the counter-attack and get involved in the attack side of things that they just leave the net open. Beautiful pass by Snasky. Snasky being quite the assist machine right here. see some patience out of Enjoy, and I like that. Despite being down three at the time, now down by four, is they're still being patient and kind of lining up their shots and not rushing anything, especially on defense. SA don't make mistakes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We'll see. Strong, they need to go a little bit more aggressive to match it's a shame we don't get to watch more SA games, because then we could have a plethora of mistakes to identify. Yeah, we only get to see them play two uh, games. Plays, as you mentioned, to the Super Sonic Adventures. Just every time they're in front of the net, they're Johnny's secrets? I've got lots of secrets. I, I feel like I know quite a lot about just about every player and every team in the world that's relevant. Weaknesses, strengths, things like that. Tendencies. What Supersonic Avengers do very well is when they're defending, they're very good at keeping the ball away from dangerous positions. And by when, it, when I say a dangerous position, I mean a place where the ball is attackable or strikable. Uh, they're very good at just keeping it in the corner, keeping it difficult to score. And besides that, they're just a very fast team. They're very good at shooting, all three of them. Very good strikers of the ball, which is one of the most important things in Rocket League, just the ability to shoot on the net. Um, so, oof, look at the shots. Wow, 16 shots to... Well, I guess Freaky actually got 8 himself. Wow, that is a very, very high shot total for both teams. Very high shot total. One more Rip game Brazil. Is into the group stage. But the same thing for the other team. They just need to get back If you sent me a VOD time, of you 1v1ing somebody, could I criticize it? Not for free, bro. Not for free. You challenged me to talk about your game? What game? Uh, Bipod. We'll see if we can see him pull it a little better in game number two. Am I in a team or a sub for a team? Uh, no. I just play Rocket League for fun. I'm quick at maths. What did I do mathematic-wise? Mathematics. Oh, this quality is just so bad, but if I put it on source, it's gonna drop frames. Oh. How do you get your car green? You use pearlescent paint. Or metallic pearl. To Grandmaster. Grandmaster getting a nice oh, the shot there. count. Wow. I'm so good at math. I know, right? What a shot. Is this the guy who got eight shots last game? Frizzish. Because that's a great shot. Doomsie just... I was actually crediting their ability to not put the ball in dangerous positions, but that is not an example of putting the ball in a safe position. Doomsie just dumping it straight into a shootable uh, spot, and nobody in Supersonic Avenger is able to challenge the shot. Good start. Good start. See if they can... Continue that on. 
as they try to get another play. Freaky, good touch. Going to try to finish it himself. Mm -hmm. Not going to be able to get a touch he needs. So his teammates... The LMP is very good at dictating the game, though. Getting that rest they needed. Very so good at just being in the right place at the right time. Grandmaster Freaky's going to try to pull it away himself. And quickly. Like, ELMP is a that very ball. underrated player, in my opinion. Good play for Supersonic. One of the best players in EU and indeed the world. And in my opinion, probably probably the best player in Supersonic Avengers if they're all playing at their best. But SA are a very good team. They're going to make a very deep run in the playoffs, I believe. They've got a great chance of qualifying um, because the playoffs are going to mean a lot more to them than it will to the likes of Weedem Girls, Flipside and Mocky U next time around. So... And they're doing just that. If oh, Supersonic Avengers God. win the groups, they'll, they'll probably qualify for the LAN. If they, well, if they win the playoffs. Freaky's even going to play bad. Not the strongest touch to get out to his teammate. They're going to have to recuperate on that one. And that's an open net. Oh, oh. Snasky. Snasky. Well done. Just going wide. Yeah, Snasky, you can see he's being patient on this one. And almost like as if he's cherry picking. It's it. not the best touch by Frisch, unfortunately. Position. But Frizzish was actually the issue there. Frizzish? How do you say that? No Frizzish? Is that how you say it? Frizzish? Frizzish. It is Frizzish, I guess. What a name. My goodness. Frizzish? I mean, I can't. what am I supposed to say? I don't know how to say that. How do you say it? What language is Frizzish? Frizzish? Frizz? I don't know. What, how do you say it? It doesn't go quite around. A little bit of a... Weirdness going on here, but we have Frizzish now following through. Only one defender. Can he get a pass? Nice pass. pass. Freaky, freaky. Oh, no Freaky. The got there too soon. Grandmaster also missing, but there's another shot for Freaky. Grandmaster just keeping his body in the way. You don't think they'll take it easier than last time? Well, they, they're still going to try to win, but I'm sure they won't be as motivated to win. They're not going to be, like, win or die mode like last time. Like, Flipside were trying so hard last playoffs. They were really, really on fire. They were really focused. And you can't just turn on that focus. Um, like a switch. Sometimes. Like, if they've already qualified for the land, they, they're not going to have that killer instinct. Not quite the same amount, at least. Great shot, by the way, by ELMP. Great shot, making it very difficult. I don't think the goalkeeper thought a shot was coming, and then suddenly the ball is flying at his goal. Where when it bounces down really hard, the complete opposite. It's very hard to judge. Frisch is French, it's German. You guys make up your mind. Somebody just give me an English romanization how to pronounce it. It means fresh. Somebody go and add this bar in Steam, ask him how he wants his name to be pronounced. I mean, this game's going pretty much as expected. No no real contest by um, Team Enjoy. They just don't respect the, the ability that Supersonic Avengers have. That was a great play by Snasky, but if the Enjoy team were used to playing against people at this level, then I'm sure they would be respecting shots like that a bit more. Nice pass, but not quite there. There's been some good passes, but they're just not taking their chances. You can tell the determination coming in from Supersonic Avengers. But Enjoy is still not out. Two minutes left. They have a lot of time to get back into this, and they need this win to stay alive. Enjoy freeze? Do you pronounce it freeze? Again, Doomsy just slamming his teammate out the net, saying this is my position. Get out the way, Lamp. I feel I've seen Doomsy do this at least three times this series, just bump a teammate out the goal. So sort, sort yourself out, Doomsy. What are you doing? Midfield Frizzish with the shot, Snasky. Nice easy save for him, Doomsy to follow it up. Very, very good rotations coming. So, so apparently really like Yemen's telling me that Frizzish is just pronounced Freeze. Like, up. Freeze would be a great name. That would be a fantastic name. Immediately that his teammate was already there, there's no point in grouping up. LMP trying to stop the doesn't. Does get the touch you want, but Freeze Seems he isn't playing groups. Puts it to the corner, not able to get another zone at the moment. <laughs> Every time, like, I don't know, Kasabi variations of Supersonic Avengers never seem to work very well. So Doomsy completely misses his flick, but it's alright, because Freaky's rotated into the net for some reason, so he's not there to defend the back post, and he just does nothing, lets Doomsy style on him. Everybody's losing their minds, but to be honest, it's just horrendous defending. Yeah, <laughs> Freaky 
It was a very good finish, to be fair. Nice aerial. Although, I don't know, did you actually aerial into the shot, Doomsy? Or did you just pop it with the corner of your vehicle? Follow through. They've actually been setting up some really, really good yeah. passes. It's just they haven't been on net. I mean, mm -hmm. you saw one where it played Ooh. over a player. Freaky almost getting one himself, though. Yeah, it played over a player, and he was sitting there waiting for Bridges. It's just team and Joy just not really... Well, I don't think they're used to really defending play. against a team uh, of SA's caliber. They're just looking they completely well. outclassed. Doomsy yeah, doing his best Jazer impression. No freestyle. Down. I think the chat actually says freestyle tutorial right here. Seconds left. Doomsy freeze, Doomsy sure freeze tells it's going to be very doable for Team Enjoy at this point. It looks like Supersonic Adventure <laughs> are going to get their spot. Don't want to call it before the, the clock's out, obviously. But, but at this point, SA just got Supersonic the Avengers easiest run into the groups the of all of time. Low. They had to beat uh, Rise and Shine, yeah, Complex, who's formerly Crown and Jewel's Blaze. That was probably their toughest Scardio, matchup, yes, but uh, they, they tend to do very well against uh, Complex. Like, they played in Gfinity and they won 3-0, they played in RLCS 1-2-0, then they just 2-0 Team Enjoy, because Kapow decided to lose somehow to this team. Uh, so Supersonic Avengers are probably laughing. Like, what did you guys think, Doomsy the ELMP Snasky? What were you thinking when uh, you saw that Kapow had lost and you were against Team Enjoy? What was your reaction? You're just like, um, what? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. We're gonna go to the desk, see what they have to say, and uh, what they think about Supersonic. You're half so you're half hoping Snasky would appear. You don't know. You just went try, wanted to get around the first defender. Yeah. Jokes aside, it was a very good play for Doomsy's last goal. Uh, popping it wide of the net is not really a mistake. He just wanted to get it past the defender, like you said. Even though it wasn't on target, he still took the defender and the goalkeeper at the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really wanted TFT to lose. Yeah, that would have been the dream. I mean, the dream for SA would be if Mocket, Kapow, and TFT all somehow didn't qualify. And there was a, fair, there was a good chance that Mocket were going to drop to losers. They had a really close series with Frost. So, Supersonic Avengers were... There is definitely hope for the LAN appearance. I hope that they make it. Maybe... Maybe you boys can come to Scotland and fly over on the Monday with me, Marky, Cux, and Mike. We're gonna fly it early, hopefully. So I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go to the LAN. As a big fan, as a Doomsy fangirl. Like amazing goal after amazing goal from just even like a handbrake turn goal in his first goal to that last like aerial oh. then dunk. Yes, beautiful. Everyone was saying like you know will Doomsy be the difference maker and yes, he was. yes he was absolutely. I think he scored. Like yeah, of course they absolutely the needed the might of Doomsy to take down yeah, Team Enjoy. My goodness. These brackets though. All by himself, amazing carries, amazing. You know, took, took, took a couple setups and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> That was a summary of what happened this whole game. I mean, yeah. the Flying Dutchman, I've got to be pretty happy that um, both Mocket and Frost didn't qualify together. Because had that happened, there would have been a good chance of the Flying Dutchman finishing sixth, or definitely having to fight for their fifth spot. But now, there's like, what? Comrade, Aeriality, Essen, Shoot and Goal, and who else? Well, those three teams are all like, they're so beatable for the Flying Dutchman. They're probably, the Dutchman have got a cakewalk to fifth place in the groups if they play the cards right. And then, uh, Supersonic Avengers, if Dutchman get fifth in the groups, Supersonic Avengers have to win the playoffs to qualify for the line ahead of them, which is not going to be easy. It's definitely doable though. SA could win the whole thing. They really could. Why do you think that is? Well, the first, like, two and a half minutes of game one, they were actually playing pretty well with fast breaks back and forth for both teams. Yeah. And then I think it was just their passing. Just checking Twitter real quick. Exactly super, uh, super How many people have retweeted me? When they would have, like, a dribble opportunity and go for that pass, they were just a little bit off. Yeah. But I think that's because Super Sonic Avengers can read the, it really well. Like, yes. All three players are really talented, and we're blocking all those players. Not yeah, enough, that's the answer. The you fools. Nobody retweeted me. Advice? Clean defensive rotation. Coach them along. The as coach them as long as you're out of RLCS. Well, I mean, now that Crown and Jules are out of RLCS, I have no, like, split motives with regards to coaching, so I can definitely, you know, make myself more available to coach other EU teams um, for RLCS. That's probably going to happen. I don't. I never wanted a conflict of interest, so I tried not to, um, you know, coach other EU teams while I was helping Crown and Jules try and qualify for the groups. But now that they haven't qualified, I am obviously more available to coach EU teams. That will likely happen. I'm sure I'll be helping somebody. We'll see who. To the highest bidder, obviously. 
of uh, of that last game there because there certainly were and the lead coach SA, there we go. Mostly because of this that was the lag right goal. We're like, what a save. Oh, it's in. <laughs> the ball just like going. Terrible defending. Oh, oh Frizzish. What is that? just so bad. Helping to not qualify? Well, I mean, they couldn't have come much closer. Again, bad defending, but nice shot by Doomsy. Like, this this whole game was just like, Team Enjoy are not used to defending a team this good. Like, this whole package, it's just Doomsy highlights. Like, look at that dribble to beat one, and then he's like, maybe I can And as a goalie, what do you It's an alright dribble, it's not that good, come on. <laughs> he flicked the ball, and then everybody, nobody was defending the back post, so he scored. Come on. Yeah. Mike and me at the line will be interesting. I could start coaching Mike. I mean, Flipside are definitely great friends of mine, so I'd love to help them, but they like to do things their own way. Mike Rules is never somebody to, uh, you know, take advice over his or what he thinks himself. And he makes it work. Mike's a very smart guy. It was amazing. Best dribble I've ever seen. I could do it. I could have done better, mate. I could have done better. With a keyboard. <laughs> It was incredible, honestly. Uh, but I'm hoping to, f yeah, like I said, I'm hoping to fly out early on the Monday with Mike, Marky, and Cux if I can persuade them all to come to Scotland and fly out with me. That'd be good. You would say that if I didn't help CNJ, they wouldn't have made it as far as they did. Well, if I didn't help CNJ, that team wouldn't exist, probably, because, like, a lot of that team coming together was me. Uh, and yeah, for sure. Like, I, I think I did my job pretty well. I think that they were prepared. They practiced a lot, they knew what they had to do, and they just didn't perform in the day. But that's, that's like, what happens in best of three double elimination. It's really, really brutal. Like, it's three games. Um, they got within one game of qualifying ahead of Mocket. And then they failed to adapt to Mocket's defensive strategy in game three. We'll take a look at that later. Um, and then uh, a couple of individual misplays. And then they went straight down to losers and lost immediately because they didn't really reset their mindset enough. Um, I mean, maybe it was a mistake by me. Like, I took the approach of, let's just win, let's just focus on beating Mocket, not even think about losers bracket. We just, all we were thinking about is beating Mocket and the winners. Um, and when that didn't happen and we go to losers, it's a bit like, oh. But I don't know, I'd stand by that approach. I think that just focusing on winning and not really thinking about losing and lose your bracket at all is, it gives you the best chance of qualifying, in my opinion. They're gonna be taking a trip to the loser's bracket where they will be competing against the likes of Precision Z. So we'll see all that. Doomsie's got so many fanboys, this is unbelievable. Doomsie's got like white knights everywhere. Fun girls, I should say. Gentlemen, is a qualification match. So who will be joining 